Oh, Alberto is looking even weirder, freakier, wackier, but clearly man-made. Very man-made. And I need to know, is the whole thing Alberto? Or is it just this little blob here? Alberto, I don't even know. But you can see all of the geoengineering taking place. You can see how it's being shot up oh, with frequencies ultra-low frequencies, frequencies coming from ultra-low frequency transmitters, which could be Gwen Towers, an array of Gwen Towers, and Doppler radar, which I will bring you to the National Mosaic because this baby is being shot up. Look at how nicely defined she is. He is Alberto, sorry, but we are living a time of transgender madness. Look at that. Mother Nature does not operate in fine lines, defined lines. No, she doesn't. And she doesn't shoot herself up with frequencies that make the edges of the storm look rather jagged. I think they're trying to get this baby right here into New Orleans. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. Now, as you can see, all of the geoengineering is taking place also on the periphery of the storm. Um, this whole thing is manufactured by man, not Mother Nature. So, how do you guys feel? Memorial Day weekend. You could be hanging out at the beach and your lovely beaches in Florida or the Panhandle, those beautiful beaches, the, the water, hmm, corrects it, uh, I don't know. But I know these beaches, they are quite beautiful. You could all be hanging out, having a lovely Memorial Day weekend, relaxing at the beach, but no, no. You have been warned, prepare. States of emergency, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. I even heard, uh, just from a comment, that the National Guard was called out in one of these states. Are you kidding me? All right. Why don't we go to the radar? Oh, wow. Okay. You're looking even freakier, Alberto. But you ain't looking like a tropical storm. Um, this thing is being hit with an awful lot of frequencies. You see the jagged, serrated edges on the periphery of the storm. You can even see a harp ring form in this precipitation inside. And you can see the ultra low frequencies being used. Ooh, wow. Hit me. Come on. I think that they are not quite successful with this tropical storm. I mean, it looks like Florida is having scattered showers. I did receive a comment from someone whose family is in Florida, and they said they got very little rain. I even received this comment from Doreen Ernst. I am so confused. We are under a flash flood warning at noon. It's almost 11 a.m., and it's sunny out. The sun is shining, and there isn't any rain. Is it just going to begin? Will it be like a bucket dumped on us? Whatever they want, you shall have. Very obvious. This baby is a manufactured storm that while I see now these weather events and they come out and oh 
scare the crap out of everybody because they're so easily scared. Prepare, prepare, prepare! State of emergency! Stay off the beaches! Have your, have your bug out bag ready. Could they weaponize this in a manner to bring far more destruction? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because they're also now calling for tornadoes. Tornadoes. The winds are bad. All of this. See the ultra low frequencies right here. All right, National Mosaic, which for the first time seems to be dead. Don't know what's going on, but first time I have been on the National Mosaic and it ain't moving. Well, for our purposes, we get to see all of the harp rings, next rad rings, call them what you want, but these are these are the frequencies that they use to steer the jet stream, to steer weather systems, to uh, intensify, modify storms, and they're intersecting. So you have one, two, three, four. Five. And you can see the outline of the one that I saw before, but National Mosaic, it ain't working for us. This is your Alberto. And meteorologists, they have nothing to say about what they are seeing. Got the ultra low frequencies going off all the time now, right where I live. I live right here and right here. Well, you can't see it because National Mosaic ain't working for us. But the ultra low frequencies are are really having a bad effect, I can say, on me. Here's another harp ring. That's the outline. All right, let's go to Ventuscon. What we are seeing are the winds that they had said, you know, 40 mile per hour winds. So right along the coast of Florida, they could be having storm surges. I'm not saying nothing will happen. When I say it's manufactured, that does not mean nothing will happen. What I am saying is, because man has the technology today to create all types of weather, and man can, with that technology, bring about a storm that can be exceedingly destructive because it's manufactured, that's, you have less to fear with Mother Nature than you do with man who's using weather as a weapon. And that is exactly what is taking place. And, yeah, Gulf Coast braces for impacts as Alberto nears with heavy rains, hazardous storm surge. Uh, first name storm of the 2018 hurricane season intensified Sunday off the west coast of Florida as the threat of rain and rough surf keep vacationers off beaches along the Gulf Coast. National Hurricane Center said in its 11 a.m. advisory that subtropical storm Alberto now has topped 50 mile per hour winds is located 130 miles southwest of Tampa moving north at 14 miles per hour. Alberto is expected to turn north northwest and approach the northern U.S. Gulf Coast by Sunday night, uh, making landfall near Pensacola. And a tropical storm warning in effect for Bonita Beach, Florida, Mississippi, Alabama border. But I still, uh, I just, I don't know why. Uh, 
I think they want to take this right into New Orleans. Um, it's unfortunate, but your three-day vacation has been destroyed. And you can thank your government, your military, for doing it. I, the tornado warning was coming from this Weather Channel meteorologist. I, yeah, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Weather modification tornadoes, what is this? Wow, they can create tornadoes? Really? With a beam intensity, the duration of the heating and location in the storm? They can shear it. Ooh, look, a satellite and a beam. And they can shear cloud to create a tornado. An antenna array of these microwave generators forms a beam to direct the energy to receivers on the surface of the Earth. Well, in my video last night, I showed you these antenna arrays the Gwen Towers that they use, the ultra-low frequencies, or they can use a satellite shooting a laser microwave beam. It's, oh boy, we're in trouble. Weather modification by artificial satellites. Don't know if I included in my video yesterday, I did include this this mo uh, weather modification by artificial satellites going through all of what they can do with these artificial satellites or satellites with the frequencies with this satellite weather modification system it says it right here oh they can they can create clouds they can steer the jet stream they can uh, influence the jet stream they can cause precipitation they can create humidity they can modify the weather, uh, but they can also oh, create a whirlwind or a small tornado. Tornado strength, they can increase it. They can increase the tornado strength. And that is what we have been seeing. The tornadoes up in New York and Connecticut and, and uh, North Carolina, all created not by Mother Nature. This should upset everyone. Everyone. Um, yeah, we've got a hurricane and tornado control device. Uh, they can affect the formation direction of weather system by projecting sound waves toward periphery of weather system and sound waves can cause it to rain sound waves, ultra-low frequencies, and they can... Oh! What? They can actually have those sound waves go off right on the periphery? On the periphery of a storm? Oh! Looky here. Ultra-low frequencies, sound waves. Acoustic energy? Oh, they have so many different methods to bring us weather. Uh, yeah, the atmospheric heating, they can prevent severe storms. Oh, and how come they just don't? They can prevent tornadoes or create them. Weather modification of tornadoes and of the jet stream. Hey, near surface intensification of tornado vorse, um, vortices, vortices. Carol, hello. Okay, forget it. Tornadoes may be intensified. Huh? They can do that. Yeah, they can. They can do an awful lot with these high power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere, which can cause earthquakes, cyclones, 
tropical storms, localized heating. Oh, we have those heat waves. And they can very rapidly bring on heat waves. But no, so many people are just going, I will not look at this. I believe in climate change. I believe in global warming. I refuse to open my mind. And you know what? I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to do any research. And I am going to do a little bit of research to confirm my belief in global warming. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to bring it to you, Carol. That's what I was experiencing in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. No one would take a look at any of the geoengineering, the weather modification, uh, all of the patents, all of the documents, all of the military documents, everything that I had. I sent it to them. Nobody looked at it. And instead, they sent me back <laughs> evidence of global warming. And a woman refused to talk to me ever again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She said, I had lost all credibility because I asked her to take a look at the evidence that I had about geoengineering and weather modification. No, not going to look. Not going to look. Not, uh uh. Stick my fingers in my ears. Not going to listen to you. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look at that evidence. Oh, my God. We have such a adult child population. Effects of debris on tornado. Hey, another method. They can actually pour debris into a tornado and really make it wide, like a mile long, and they can get it to go on for hours and cause an awful lot of destruction. Effects of fine scale debris on near surface tornado dynamics. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, I guess life is just now watching destruction. Hey, joy, joy, fun, fun. Hope you're all having a great Memorial Day weekend. And for those of you who live in Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, could you let us know what's going on? Are you experiencing storm surges? Are you experiencing an awful lot of rain? Are you experiencing an awful lot of wind? Because you know what? Huh. Frequencies, they can, they can cause an awful lot of wind. And you know what? Those who refuse to even entertain that maybe what we're saying is correct, they will see from the wind, oh, trees down, power outages, and that will confirm for them that it was real. Well, we're not saying that. But when you can take down trees now with a very little wind because they've been so weakened, from the geoengineering, the dumping of toxic chemicals and heavy metals that have destroyed the immune system of trees. They have been weakened and now trees are falling all over the place. It doesn't mean that there's high winds. It could mean that they had 10 mile per hour winds with enough rain and voila, the tree topples over. All right. Despite this, I do hope that you all have a good weekend, that you stay dry, that nothing happens. And they don't try to intensify this to bring about an awful lot of damage. If there are tornadoes, I just hope that nobody gets hurt. All right, all links are below.